<laughs> oh man, it, it is cold outside right now, and also inside. Um, it's not as cold inside, but it is definitely cold inside. Uh, it snows blustering and stuff like that. Anyways, I'm Lucian. Uh, today I am going to be talking over gameplay of A Fissure of Woe Pub. And I say P-U-B uh, with a note that the di there is a distinction between a P-U-B as in brothel and P-U-G as in gopher. Uh, P-U-B means public. So if you're doing a public game, you're doing it people that you don't... Uh, you know, no necessarily. People from random. That's when you walk into the Temple of Ages and pick up a group from random. Now, a PUG is a pickup game. Now, a PUG could be a pub, but it isn't necessarily. You can have a pug um, uh, made from people of a clan. A PUG is just a game that has not been scheduled beforehand. So I just want to make that distinction. So people get it wrong all the time and it bugs the crap out of me. Anyways. Um, <laughs> what I'm going to talk about today is uh, three kind of guidelines, fundamentals, pillars, rules, I don't know. It's just three things that I think are really important uh, to being a good runner. And I'm going to list them off right now in a nice format. First of which is don't panic. Two, don't be a jerk. Three, don't get discouraged. Now, going back to don't panic. Don't panic. Stay calm. Keep your cool. Uh, there's more than one way to do everyone. I guarantee you. every single run has more than one way to be completed. I mean, like, heck, what? People used to solo the underworld. So, where there's a will, there's a way. If you make a mistake, took, like, a wrong turn, that's okay. If you know your skill bar well enough, uh, you should be able to get out of that situation. The Assassin is an incredibly survivable and versatile class, um... So you're very lucky to have such a incredible class to be working with, and you could, if you know your you know way around your skill bar, you can get out of almost any situation, um, unless you you know did something really dumb. But that's how you learn. So always keep your cool. Uh, now, two, don't be a jerk. Please, 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 please. There's two people that you should not be a jerk to. The first of which is other runners, and the second of which is everybody else. So. Uh, say you walk into a district of some town, and that town is the start of a run that you were thinking of doing that afternoon, you know? You gotta, gotta make some money. And you see somebody else, and they are advertising the same run you were gonna do. And, um, you, you should not, you should not, under any circumstances, undercut them for the sake of getting, uh, you know, a better price for more people to come to your run. Because that is, oh... That is the worst. That is the worst thing to do. Do not undercut people when you hop into a district and they're there first. If people are running up and they hop in your district and they undercut you, send them off a PM about how rude that is, um, and then leave. Or at least don't undercut them back. Because that's just immature. Don't want to be immature. Um, if you just have to do that run that day, go to a different district or wait for them to be gone. It's no big deal. Now, in any circumstance where they have a ridiculous price, maybe you do want to undercut them uh, just by putting up your normal price for the sake of being a cool person. And then don't be a jerk to the people you're running because that's not good for business. The people that are running are like, oh, you know, on my alt character, I'm like, Bodilion, I've got my obsidian armor and, you know, I can do this run in 10 seconds. Yeah, well, you know, hey, you're not doing that run in 10 seconds. I'm running, and it may not take 10 seconds. But, you know, just, just ignore them. People are people, and they're jerks sometimes. So don't be a jerk back. Always be the bigger assassin. Third of all, don't get discouraged. Because, oh man, running is hard. I'm not going to lie. It's not hard anymore for me, but that's because they've got countless hours sunk into it. Um, I feel like I know every run in the game just about for assassins. I'm sure there's more that I don't know, because I don't, I'm not an expert, but I do a lot of this, and I used to do a lot more than I do now, but don't get discouraged if you can't uh, figure out how to do a run, because I guarantee you there is a way, somebody has done it before, it's just a matter of finding the right combination of skills and the right technique, um, and it may seem impossible at some points, but persevere, 
it's no big deal. You'll get over it and you'll figure out what works. Um, and then, don't get discouraged when people scam you, because this, sadly enough, happens a lot. And the end of the line is that there's no way to prevent this. Uh, people might leave before they've paid you and you've done all this work. And, uh, you know, that's life. It, it kicks you in the face. From the teeth, I guess. All, mm, yeah. And that's, you know, you should probably always be running with a group of at least three other people. And that way, um, if one of them leaves and scams you, then the other two um, will still give you their money. And if somebody leaves, um, don't, don't like hold your current group hostage. Because that is, that's insane. That's completely contrary to what you're supposed to be doing as a runner. Um, so, those are my three, what I believe uh, to be the fundamentals of running as an assassin. Or, or, you know, just, I guess just being a good player in general in Guild Wars. And, um, until next time, I'm Lotion. If you've got a, um, a guide or something built you want to see from me, leave a comment below telling me what it is. Or um, if you think I'm a terrible person, leave a comment below and tell me your favorite way you would imagine to kill me. Good luck.